Future plans for NXT call-ups in WWE have been revealed. Elsewhere, Tony Khan has revealed the new Ring of Honor TV deal and details of that. And Chris Jericho hits out at Ring of Honor title match critics from Final Battle. More of that in a sec. Hello everybody, Jack and Ross back again with yet more news. Check out our earlier news video today if you haven't already. But now we're talking about uh, future WWE plans for members of our favorite <laughs> brand. NXT, according to Fightful Select, Ross. Yes, they're saying since the return of live crowds last year, NXT talent has regularly worked dark matches on uh, or on main event to help elevate them. One NXT source indicated to us that WWE higher-ups feels it gives a more accurate reflection of how a talent would immediately connect with a main roster audience since they're largely working in front of the same few hundred people. The same few hundred people on weekly NXT TV? That feeds into your tin hat theory, that well, does. Well, not, not that they're plants, just that there's loyalists, <laughs> NXT loyalists who go every week, like to the football. Aye, but they then crucially go on to discuss to Fightful Select that the names penciled in, I guess, for a call up to the main roster are Cameron Grimes, fair, fair enough. enough. He's done everything he can do in NXT. Yeah. He's, just, he's just a fantastic professional wrestler, just gets it. He no should be on the main roster. Yeah. left for him to really do. Can't be serious, can't be silly, can't do everything. Yeah. But the other name as the bell goes off. The cum bell, because it's come Tuesday, everybody. It's Von Wagner. Again, it's fair the... enough, totally understand. <laughs> well, no, well, what's, what's the matter? I get my dancing shoes on He's there, got right? his dancing shoes on. <laughs> He's ready to go. That, that's the other name who is near the top of the next list uh, for a set of NXT call-ups in the Grimes. Has a great familiarity, uh, familiarity with, uh, with Shane Helms, who produces Raw and SmackDown, which is quite nice to hear. They've, yeah, they've not said anything about Von Wagner there they've gone Gr Cameron Grimes and Von Wagner because Grimes has great familiarity with Shane Helms I mean why Why do you need to say anything you just see the name Von Wagner you just think brilliant what I'm thinking is because all jokes aside I think Von Wagner occupies a unique role in the modern wrestling landscape he's a big powerhouse right yeah. and, and these days wrestling is generally getting smaller so he'd be quite a unique figure to have around but there are people in NXT who are clearly more ready for the main roster than Von Wagner Carmelo Hayes is the obvious one to me but there's so many but does that mean that he doesn't deserve it I don't think it, it is the size that sets him apart and when he's wrestling I say this on the podcast available every Friday every week that he's good at doing the moves it's just the promos are so ridiculously bad I don't get it. they gave him a manager and then didn't let him talk for him yeah or started him off. Maybe it was to try and ease him into promos. But, but I, don't, I don't think there's any shame in having a manager when you're a big heel. Absolutely not. No, it's it's, it's welcomed in my world. Yeah. But uh, in, in and in Von Wagner's world as well. But if they get him on the main roster, use him right in the early stages. Get him sort of like just showing how big and powerful he is, comparative to the mm. many people on the roster. I think there's 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 things to be done there. Just in terms of letting him talk, I'd keep that to a minimum. There's been, <laughs> that is true. There's been there's been examples before of people who've excelled on the main roster way more than they have on the NXT roster. Elias is the big. Yeah. One for me, whose gimmick was just set up way more for the main roster than yeah. it was NXT. Uh, Five also said it was reiterated to us that appearing on main event doesn't mean there's been a pitch for a call up or plans for one. Instead, this is WWE trying to get looks at talent on the road outside of the auspices of the performance center. Several NXT talent have told us they viewed getting looks on main event though as a reward. So slightly contradictory there. Is it a what was it? It's got to be a little like we've got more <clears throat> eye on you sort of thing. Let's see how you let's let's cast you out into the big water there, little fishy, and see how you sweet sink or swim. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a good system. <laughs> to be fair, um, moving crossing the divide now to the other side of. American wrestling because we're talking about Tony Khan who uh, revealed in an official press statement his new weekly Ring of Honor TV show broadcast on Ring of Honor streaming platform which pre-existed by the way yeah. Honor Club um, what does the press release I was trying to do a fancy link there like Tom does now, what does it say Ross fans can sign up immediately for Honor Club for just $9.99 per month by visiting watchroh.com Honor Club is accessible via the ROH app on iOS Android Roku and Amazon Fire TV this relaunch platform features updated functionality where the fans can enjoy thousands of hours of Ring of Honor content, including classic matches from the full Ring of Honor television archive and hundreds of pay-per-views and special events. Khan also announced plans for a weekly Ring of Honor television show, as he just mentioned there, uh, to be uh, solidified at the top of next year. Pay-per-view events will be available on Honor Club. Now brace yourselves, everybody. 90 days after they happen with live broadcast still airing via Bleacher Report. Ninety days, right? There's, well, there's a few things there, isn't there, to talk about? Live on Bleacher Report, available on Honor Club. Ninety days later, that's a long time later, but I guess this is a deal they have with Bleacher Report. Yeah. I suppose. Um, the other thing I was going to mention was that. Oh, excuse me. Get it I out. Get my, oh, no, I can't. I Go can't. on. Um, I was coughing a little bit there. Um, the other thing I was going to mention was that that this is very interesting because people have been screaming for this for ages for the archive thing, but at the same time, 
this means that Rampage isn't going to become Ring of Honor Rampage, which we've all been Ah. Uh... <laughs> I don't know, it's just a horrible thing and just letting that settle in there, just a mm. sober and thought. I guess Rampage can go back to what it was originally, which was like a nice little accoutrement to Dynamite, set up a match that couldn't happen on Dynamite on Rampage and give it a big showcase, nice mm. half hour barn burner or something like that, which would be nice to see. Because Rampage is by and large like a really messy thing where a million things happen and nothing's given time to breathe. So I guess there's a positive to come from there. Is this maybe hitting that there could be like an AEW streaming thing as well? Because 999, ah. as, as I've seen pointed out by the arrogance of youth themselves, Fraser Potter on the Twitter machine over the weekend seems a bit steep. That does seem steep, but then it wouldn't, I guess, be steep for AEW and Ring of Honor combined. Yeah. That's two promotions in one. So yeah, I, I think that's fair enough. If if I don't know if that's true or not, what Fraser's suggesting, but it is a good idea because if he then announces a separate streaming platform for AEW, which is like another nine ninety nine, people yeah. are just, no one's going to buy Ring of Honor. Yeah, we know we know who owns it all, don't we? So yeah, yeah. Mm. Fair enough. Um, the, the the exciting thing for many people will be the archive. A lot of people have been waiting for Ring of Honor pay-per-views because a lot of them came from the days of like DVDs and tape trading. Especially Sam Punk who made a big hoo-ha when Tony Khan announced the, 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 the sort of purchase of the assets of Ring of Honor that that someone nice has got his like back catalogue and will treat it right. Do you think he'll subscribe to, um, yeah. to this? Because on one hand, he gets to watch all of his old matches and have a great time. But on the other hand, he's probably not a big fan of Tony Khan at the minute. No. Well, I reckon he just pay up. Why yeah, not? Nine ninety nine a month. Um, there was recently a Ring of Honor pay per view, the last one of the year, Final Battle twenty twenty two. And Ross, it's not on our notes, but don't worry, I'll run through it now. I've not seen it yet, but we are going to bring our oh. highlight of the week to the Cult of Holic Wrestling podcast. Do you care about? I'm spoilers? fine about spoilers. It's happened Everybody, to it. It's, that's on me. There's about to be spoilers, right? For Final Battle twenty twenty two, every all four of the major titles on the line changed hands yes can you believe it Athena beat Mercedes Martinez good result Wheeler Utah beat Daniel Garcia good result via referee stoppage how elbowing him oh the up the BCC yeah um, what was the other one um, the tag team titles the tag team titles changed hands in that dog collar tag team match if something becomes of FTR now on AW good and proper that's mm. a good result but if it, if they're just going to fall away like they have done most of this year that's not a good result is no, it no but they had they were 2 nil up in the series against the Briscoes uh, you, know, you had to give the Briscoes when the Briscoes came out they were wearing like black like um, almost like raincoat looking things and on commentary they went you know that is that's what they used to slaughter animals back on the farm <laughs> like, that's not to stop no that's class that. yeah. that's really <laughs> good um and in the, in the main event, Chris Jericho lost to Claudio Castagnoli and commentary were acting like their world had been totally saved. They were like, we can't do this anymore under Chris Jericho. At one point, the I can't remember his name, is it Caprice? The other commentator Caprice goes, Coleman, yeah. Rick and Bonnie, run! Because Jericho was coming for him. And it was all very, very dramatic. Well, that's been Jericho's mantra, oh, just to just desecrate everything that's just, associated with Ring of Honor. He went, Rick and Bonnie? Run. <laughs> um, <laughs> but there has been some controversy coming out of that main event finish, mm. hasn't there, Jack? Because Chris Jericho has been lambasting people's opinions, maybe. He has done, uh, because, and this is a divisive one. Some people thought it was genius, some people thought it wasn't. Uh, Jericho lost the match by tapping out to the swing which is the first time I can remember that. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Aidan Gibbons upstairs, reputable news hound, or news orangutan, whatever mm. the hell he was. Um, he, oh, the lesser news ape. The lesser news is, ape, yeah, yeah. yes. Uh, he, he said that it lasted for 33 seconds, the swing. <laughs> well, I'm glad he timed yeah. it. That was really good. Uh, some people liked it, some people didn't. Uh, the Twitter account, at AEW Dub, said, dumb finish, why would you tap to that? Want to be creative, but it's a no from me. And Jericho responded, hey, F face. I just thought, yeah, I didn't know how to really sense it. I hope that's been blurred up yeah. there, Mr. Editor. <laughs> uh, ever experienced this move? It's barbaric. I tapped out. You would have S-worded your pants and cried for mommy. To be fair, and this is speaking just by looking at those things at the circus, you know, at the circus, at the fun fair, you know, you stand up and it's like a tumble dry and you just go spinning around. A centrifugal force. I would not like to go on one of them and I imagine being put in Cesaro's sing uh, or Claudio Castanoli's swing is, is quite similar to that. Yeah. So I can I, see why. I didn't mind it. I think that um, it, Jericho always looks for, I, I'm assuming it was his idea because he's so defensive about it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, he always looks for unique or different things, doesn't he, in wrestling? He always tries to innovate even though he's getting on a bit. So I... Did you have a problem with it? Just I don't think so, it? no. I know you've not seen it yet firsthand, but... But if it lasted 33 whole seconds and it's just, it's Claudio Castagnoli doing it, mm. I can see why maybe that would make sense. I think the issue people have is that it's never happened before and maybe we have seen swings that have gone on maybe just near to as long as this one has. So people are like, oh, really? Mm. And this is the Ocho, for goodness sake. Maybe. Although at the end of a grueling matcher, who knows? Or maybe Lionheart wouldn't have tapped out, but the Ocho would have. I'll tell you what wouldn't tap out. <laughs> Coldaholicshop.com. There's a new merch drop. Is it... Uh, 
Well, it's out now. It's out now, yes. Check it out. There's all sorts of different things. There's pudding enjoyment noises t-shirts. Remember that AI video? Yeah, that was yeah. good. That, Taz, uh, Taz yeah. making pudding enjoyment no- uh, noises. There's a tea time thing. There's a Barry the Shark thing. Mm-hmm. There's a Blue Peter Badge-esque thing mm-hmm. with the, the Cultaholic logo. Podcast logo as well. There's a new on podcast the logo. Yeah. Thank you, Luke, for designing that. It's um, it's all it's all available at cultaholicshop.com. So do check it out. Please yeah. do, yeah. Yeah, do. Uh, and thank you very much for watching this video. Um, Ross, have you got anything in store that you want to... No, just we're doing Christmas content today. So stuff, yes, yeah. we're all fast forwarding towards Christmas. There's going to be so much over Christmas pictures and, and cu- the Coldy Awards and everything, all that sort of stuff. Yes. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Check out the earlier news video today if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. I've been Jack. This has been Ross. And we'll see you soon.